Hi, this is Suze Love and Tarot. We're doing readings, uh, love readings for August. It's pop-up love readings. Okay. All right. I just couldn't resist. <laughs> With this Uranus energy, Taurus, especially you, right? I feel like it's very important to kind of uh, stay focused on our dreams, right? And our aspirations, our love. Okay, so... Okay, there may be some challenging things, and also in the physical reality with Earth, Earth is changing too, so it's very important during this time to kind of stay grounded and um, keep moving and keep reaching for um, these shifts, these paradigm shifts. We'll still sing or dance while doing household chores. Ooh, I like it. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, my trick is I listen to reggaeton while I, uh, <laughs> I clean the house. That's one of my favorite go-tos. But this, this is nice. Because it's like whistle, sing, dance while doing household chores. It's a your vibration, your sounds, tuning into that. I love it. Okay. All right. Love. Okay. For August. Okay. So for a lot of you, this is climbing a mountain, right? Some of you were divorced. Some of you had some challenging stuff happen. Uh, even legal things for some of you with this um, Uranus energy. Okay, so um, here's a phrase that will help you. Things are happening for me, not to me, right? And that way we can get out of this kind of feeling like things are being done to us for us they're being done for us right and how do we do that we look for the golden nugget right we look for the minerals in the mountain right like a goat um, to go beyond and have the energy to move into um, a positive way of being again okay now here's elephant ears okay so i feel like they also look like spears so there could be a lot of mind stuff going on here so uh, that's okay as long as we're feeding, right, ingesting um, beautiful ideas, right? And if they're not, then what we might do is reach for those nutritious thoughts that are going to birth something beautiful like a sacred flower, okay, blooming. And I feel like this is part of your transition, right, this Uranus energy, um, right, this station of Uranus in North Node now. And again, I said in the Aries reading that there were some big changes that happened, right, during the 20s. Okay, so it's that it kind of energy. But what we want to do is not repeating those old cycles, but reaching for new and going beyond. That's interesting that this came up because I was focused on Quan Yin and I got Quan Yin hand. And then I found this YouTube video that had Quan Yin with all these hands. It's like a thousand hands or something. Okay, so I feel like though in the physical reality we only uh we may have one hand or two hands okay whatever we're you know gifted with okay so but know that we have these energetic hands and these are the helpful hands of spirit and as we tune in and ask then um that can help us to uh, feel empowered and reach for um these new places in our creation okay so goddess empowerment and that includes a divine love okay now i feel like on a simple level for some of you who are married i feel like this is like multitasking and trying to create the space for intimacy with your lover okay so 
make sure you do that right in the physical and what's interesting is I never noticed this before in this hand it looks like there's a lotus growing out of her hand or a butterfly okay so make sure you're tuning into your emotions and that you're in touch with it right especially if you're coming into a new relationship with someone now we have crocodile and mountain so i feel like for some of you you're connecting with a capricorn or a cancer yes okay so i feel like they've come out of some stuff and they've learned through experience and so it's like um, make sure that you're both strong in your own energy so that um, it, it is a healthy connection, not a codependent one. Okay, so I'm getting that. And set your healthy boundaries and set the pace. Okay, I feel like that's really important. And stay in touch with your emotions as you're moving along and voice with sound. And communicate openly with your person. I feel like you'll have more success in August in the love department. It's like don't hold it in. Find kind, compassionate ways to speak to lover, right? And say what you need to say. Okay, adaptability. So flexibility is very important. So you might do yoga, uh, qigong, these things that are get, any kind of movement, walking, um, you know, um, whistling, making sounds, being in tune with the sound that is you. Okay. Woo! Okay. Here is your intelligence. So you know what you don't want, right? So it's like, let's start focusing on what we do want and stay there. Okay, that's what I'm getting with that. And as we do that, this earth horse will bring you victory to what it is you desire. Okay, so it's like go with the flow. I feel like for some of you, this is uh, representing resistance of some sort. Okay, so. Okay, so it could. Okay, so the resistance could be as simple as seeing how the past unfolded and not letting that go okay so every day is a new day and we can treat it as a new day there is some momentum for some of you that ha has to roll out but meanwhile you can keep adding to uh, your creative spark your creative mind and move in that direction with love okay All right, so let's see their wild side or animal nature. Let's see what that is. This could be a battle within your own energy. Okay, so take a look at your rising and moon sign and ask, am I harmonizing here? Am I reaching for the most positive aspects of my signs and other placements? Okay, Sometimes that is just the teeter-totter. Okay, so. It's like if the energetic horse bucks, be flexible. If you have a stiff energy, right, you might get knocked off the horse. But if you're flexible, you move with the flow, the flowing mane even of the horse. And it's just a smooth ride. I like it. Okay, so this is like unwillingness to let go of the past. It's coming up. Okay. Peace. Peace begins with me. It's not something outside, and the grass isn't greener anywhere else. It begins with me. Love begins with me. Peace begins with me. Uh, this radiant light begins with me, right? And this through this emanation, uh, I attract peaceful partners. Loving partners, supportive partners, ones uh, that are into monogamy. For some of you, that's what you desire. Okay. And for some of you, you're attracting a partner where you're going to create something together. Okay. So, and that could be a little bit of a dance. And the key is 
uh, flexibility again is coming in. Okay. And know your trigger points and your emotions and be ready to open up and communicate. Okay. All right. So what I'm getting is when you have a partner, it's like, they have all these, um, is, don't, okay. What I feel like the approach is just, it doesn't have to be a big ordeal where we have to have a meeting like that. Right. Because then who wants to do that? Just communicate as you're moving along steadily together and just, you know, flow, flow the words as you're moving along. It doesn't have to be this a uh, big dramatic thing I'm picking up. Okay, so just I feel like in that new way of communicating, uh, there will be success here. Now, some of you are going to travel, okay, uh, together here in... Oh, I'm picking this up. This came up, I think, in another reading yes, uh, yesterday, too. Um, it's like... Signing up if you're solo, right? Signing up if you can still travel places, right? Okay, so this is for someone. Let's say you had dreams of retiring with your partner and going to all these wonderful places and this and that. And what happened was you decided to separate and go your separate ways. Okay. All right, so you don't have to give up on going to see the castle in Ireland or, or, or in Spain. What you can do is go to those places and sign up for group activities. You can even go on a tour with the groups of people, right? You don't have to do it solo. Even for, they have, for young people... Um, I've seen where there's even a limit for age on some of these for young people, like age limit to 30 or something like that. And then, but of course there's on the other spectrum for older, uh, people who are traveling solo too. So it's like, don't leave yourself out of your dreams, move with them, be flexible. So some of the components change. You can keep adding and keep moving and keep reaching for that divine love within you, right? And emanating that energy and moving along in the physical reality will be like a magnet to this divine love. Okay, so I'm getting some Aries energy here. So some of you might be uh, leaders I'm getting. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so yeah. Passion. It will take passion for you to push through your self-criticism to get to a place of confidence. Okay, so let's love on ourselves, right? And nine is completion. So we're letting go of this past, right? Okay, and uh, closing of the door on that. Every day is a new day. Passion. Healing. Moving in the new. Here's a hibiscus here. Okay. All right. Ooh, another earth horse. Look. So this is movement and victory. Okay. All right. And some of you have a little cat and just even connecting with your cat and doing fun things with your cat uh, will bring in success. Okay. Now the cat is suggesting... Okay, so the cat energy is suggesting here, pay attention to the details, okay, in any kind of new contracts and things like that. Okay, that's what I'm picking up here. Go out in nature as much as you can, for its pure creativity can teach you everything you need to know. And here's a nine again, 72. That's nine. Okay, completion, completion. That's the message from spirit. Okay, so we must... Fully close the door to step into a new one, right? Okay, that's what the message is. And here's some more mountains to climb. But that's okay. With flexibility and movement, we can uh, go beyond um, our comfort zone. Okay. Now, I'm picking up these as pressed flowers. Okay, so some kind of craft work and some kind of craft group 
might be uh, a nice way to find peace for some of you. And uh, for some of you women out there, that could be a nice way to find a new supportive group of people. Okay, because what I'm getting here is someone who has a son, right? Okay, so we want our son or child to be uh, confident and move in their courage. And, uh, and I see you as supporting your child, but we want to be also strong in our own energy, right? And emanate that to child. I feel like that's important here. Okay, so, yeah, and as you do that, I see that your, your child will find a healthy partner also. Yeah, and appreciate you more even. That's what I'm getting. So, um, extend your love, right, to child, but also... Do things on your own. I feel like that's important here for some reason. Okay, now. Okay, here it says, look at this. Okay. Might be some Scorpio energy here. Now, if that's showing up in the uh, Taurus reading, that may be your polar opposite. So you may not be so positive and that's okay. But what we do is, if we're going back in the past and thinking negative ideas, we want, this is like rebirth energy. You want to move forward, turn your horses around, right? And, um, and he, 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 your way, right? <laughs> the horse sound, he, 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 right? He, 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 your way to the future. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Now, some of you might have been, uh, I'm getting dark chocolate. Okay, so I feel like um, just a couple of pieces of dark chocolate, right, sometimes can uh, help with your energy, too, maybe. Okay, so try that. Okay. All right, so you might just buy, like, a small bar or something, right, so that you don't eat the whole thing. <laughs> But you can if you want to, but uh, that's what I'm getting, some some sort of antioxidants. Okay, so it could be. Follow your own intuition on that, right? That's what I'm getting. Okay, so we want to turn our horses to the future. Okay, so some of you may be like Aries energy wanting to go back to a past person. Okay, so, and if we do, we want to pull in those, ooh, snakeskin. See, transformation. Okay, so. We want to reach for those new uh, things here. Rebirth energy. And the key is not to suppress it. The key is to acknowledge it. And when we're there in the past, pull in the golden nuggets, things you want to recreate in the future. Move your mind that way and then move into your heart and turn to the now to the future. Okay. For some of you, you might find relief in horseback riding. Okay, now, contest. Okay, so what I'm getting with this is be yourself fully and you are without compare, a true winner of the only contest that matters. We don't have to keep up with the Joneses in the love department, right? That's very important. Okay, so go at your own pace. Okay, so we don't have to... Uh, and that way you can get out of analyzing and just flow in love. That's what I'm getting. Okay. So if you come to an indecision, that's the same as not having, uh, not being a decisive, right? And not, that's not decisive action energy in your mind. So just um, keep trucking along, okay, in those feel-good places. And I feel like love will manifest. Okay. Now, for some of you, this may be picking back up with your past person. Okay. With that, I got cooperation. Your goal can benefit from you surrounding yourself with like-minded people. Yeah. So, continue doing any kind of...
crafts or things like that where you have supportive energy around you. And, and that energy, that feeling secure and strong again, that's going to attract the kind of partner you want. And I leave you with that. Thank you.